We would also like to thank the Department of Political Science at the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs. They were amazing people. Uh, they sent us a number of emails with words of encouragement and obviously uh, a fat sum of dough. Um, and we would like to thank the Graduate Programs Office of my own school, uh, Martin Luther Whitman School of Management. Um, and we don't just thank the Graduate Programs Office, we also thank the graduate students, some of whom are right here right now, our friends, our juniors, who have consistently shown up for, these, for the film festival. They are not queer, they do not have queer studies as part of their curriculum, but they were very interested in learning about queer stories and assimilating them in their own uh, dialogue, in their own culture, discussing about it. Thank you guys. Please clap for yourselves. <laughs> uh, and I would like to thank two individuals who uh, contributed from their own pocket for the film festival. Uh, Ms. Angela Petruco and Mr. Ke Kevin Bailey. They are both administrative staff at the Whitman School of Management. Uh, we would like to say we had a little bit of influence on them, but no one pays that much, the amount of money that they paid without having a certain amount of uh, knowledge about the issues going on and a certain amount of faith in us to put together an event that will help the college, the university community. Um, that's not where we end though. Uh, she's this particular person that I'm going to mention now, she's not here tonight but she has been uh, amazing in helping us put this whole event together. Abby Fyde, she's the administrative specialist of the LGBT Resource Center, and uh, she's yet tall, but she's a powerhouse of organization. Like, she can put together catering services and invoices, she can manage it all in a day's time. She will obviously curse under her breath for making her do so much work, but she does it nonetheless. Um, and all the cupcakes and the cookies that we are having, it's because of her. Because if it was left to us, we decided on the menu two weeks back, but we learned that she had already sent the menu like a month back, which is when you're supposed to send it <laughs> the catering services. And I would like to thank Dr. Chase Catalano. We all know him very fondly as Chase. And he has been, well, everything for us. A great advisor, a great friend, a guide, um, and words of encouragement, everything. Thank you so much, Chase. Can you please have a round of applause for him? Uh, thank you to Open Doors. You guys have, you know who you are, and you have been here constantly supporting us throughout the last two semesters. Amazing job. Thank you for being here. And I'm almost done, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I would like to thank my, and I have to get this very correct because I was kind of inebriated last night, but I wrote this down because I have to say this about this particular person. Uh, my pseudo lover, my mind reader, my partner in crime, my eye opener, my window into the queer world, my dirty dancing partner, my best friend, and my co coordinator, Nupur. Can you please have a round? <laughs> And I would also like to mention my boyfriend, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, again, it's okay. finally again, thank you to all of you. If you're, if this is the first screening that you're coming for, amazing. If this is more, if this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, which for some it is, the sixth. Uh, thank you, because we. What we really were scared about was that it's Easter weekend, whether people are going to show up or not. I got a, I got a whole lot of hell to go through from the board because she was like, are we doing this wrong? Is this going to happen with every freaking screen? <laughs> Don't want to go through that, but thank you for showing up. You guys are amazing, really. And now, without much further ado, we'll let two people in who are waiting outside. <laughs> and uh, we will watch this very, very beautiful film, the way he looks. It's the, it's Brazil's, <clears throat> it was Brazil's entry for the Oscars this year. And trust me, by the end of this film, you're gonna have smiles on your faces, no matter what. Because, come on, being queer means being happy and gay. And no matter
matter what everyone else tells us, our lives are pretty quite accomplished. Thank you. 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 Thank you.